It all starts with your flow as a developer. And when we think about your flow, it's more than the speed at which you work. It's about getting in the zone and staying there. We want to make it easy for you to go from idea to code and code to cloud and cloud to the world. Our approach starts with GitHub, the home for every developer. Whether you're helping digitally transform a Fortune 500 or starting a new Web3 project. Flow begins with your dev box. Today, you have to set up a new dev box whenever you start a project, investigate a bug in an older code base, onboard a colleague, or learn a new technology. It's too complex, it takes too long, and it's too hard to keep workstations secure, compliant, and up to date. Last year, we introduced GitHub Code Spaces to address this. Code Spaces is your entire developer environment, including the full power of VS Code hosted in the cloud and accessible via the browser. You can spin up a new Linux-based dev environment for any size project with pre-built images in seconds. In fact, GitHub's own dev image starts in just 10. It's truly your on-the-go dev environment accessible across the cloud, locally on your machine with Code Spaces and Windows subsystem for Linux. You can save your changes and bring the entire environment to WSL locally. And when you go back online, you can commit your changes and return to Code Spaces. While Code Spaces is a great environment for web development and building cloud native apps, if you're building for the PC, embedded, mobile, or console, you often need a Windows dev box and other client apps to do your development. And you often need a solution managed by IT. That's why I'm so excited to announce the Microsoft DevBox. It's a fully managed service built on Windows 365 to spin the beefiest of VMs with all the tools, connected services, and network resources you need pre-provision so you can get to code quickly while ensuring that your DevBox always stays secure and compliant. It'll be compatible with, in fact, the Azure Game Dev VM we announced at GDC, so game developers can access all of the tools they use every day to test and build their games in the cloud. And from an IT perspective, it can be managed alongside all the other devices your company manages through Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Now let's take it one step further to help you stay in your flow. What if you had an AI pair programmer that you could collaborate with and would help you learn new frameworks and best practices. That was our motivation for GitHub Copilot. It draws context from the code you're working on to finish the lines you start or even suggest entire functions. It's incredibly powerful. We introduced a preview a year ago, and the feedback has been fantastic. And we're already seeing more than 35% of newly written code being suggested by Copilot in popular languages like Java and Python. And one third of the people who signed up for the preview are frequent users. I'm excited to share that we will make Copilot generally available for developers later this summer. And everyone who's registered for Build today will have free access through GA. We're also making Copilot free for students as well as verified open source contributors.